Hello again, this is Jason Titcomb with LMGI, continuing with Solid Edge Fundamentals. Now we're going to talk about design intent. Whenever you select a face with the select tool, you'll see design intent uh, panel show up. Uh, if you have placed a dimension on an element, uh, and as you're adjusting that face or faces, design intent could potentially come into play. And as we saw in the last movie, even when you're creating face relates, they're also engaged potentially. Um, anytime a face is moving, for whatever reason, uh, design, the design intent panel will, will appear. So I'm going to start by... First, I'm going to delete some rounds, just to briefly talk about that. Uh, deleting faces is easy. You need to kind of make sure you pick just the right amount of geometry, though. You need to have enough surrounding faces that can extend themselves and heal that, that, um, that opening. Sometimes with complex rounds, you need to kind of pick at it and delete in different uh, sequences so that it can solve correctly but at any rate I wanted to remove those to facilitate showing you a little bit about design intent formerly known as live rules so when you first click a face you'll see the default um, there is actually a you can tap R on the keyboard to uh, reset you can tap U on the keyboard to completely turn them off uh, and then some other keys as well. If you hover, the tooltip will will tell you. Um, but the defaults um, usually work pretty well. So at that exact moment when things start to move, you'll see the panel change. And what it's doing is showing you only the things that are that are engaged. It took away all the other things, uh, the other situations or conditions in the model where it didn't really have anything to do. Um, so it's apparently the symmetry and a coplanar uh, condition here and relationships and uh, dimensions would still be in place. So if I turn off symmetry either with the S or untick it here, it's still appears to be moving all faces because they're coplanar. So if I turn symmetry back on and turn coplanar off, now we're seeing um, symmetry is, you can see symmetry is still engaged because there's two faces um, about the base coordinate system. That's kind of important. I'm going to turn on the base coordinate system. The symmetry is detected about the base coordinate system. So it's really important that your designs be created uh, on center if there is any symmetry in the design. You can move it later, but make it a habit. Um, so that's that's the basics. Um, and then if I turn off symmetry with the S, I'll get just the one face. Um, there's also some interesting settings on the quick bar. Notice how that face is getting thinner. Turn symmetry back on to make it a little more interesting. So the surrounding faces are not tipping there's a, so there's a solve option right here. You can choose tip. So if it's important that the size of that pad, maybe that's a contact surface, and you're not really, the, the angled faces are there for just transition. So you really need those pads to stay the same size. So that's the option that you would use. So keep an eye on your quick bar up here. Um, there's, some, there's some settings that can help with that. So let's, let's take a look at some other... Um, a little bit more with the design intent. Let's go and um, let's move this hole. Actually, why don't I click this front face and I'll attempt to move it out. Now, this is this is where um, people sometimes get frustrated. So I'm attempting to move this out some distance and it's failing, but if you don't give up, if you if you key in your value or you just click, it will go into a troubleshooter 
which will try to show you the um, the faces uh, that are in the relationships and it's trying to show you why this can't move so if you look if you use your color bar I've kind of deliberately put a ground relationship on that face and I've placed a locked dimension here on this face so what's going on is this face is moving tangency is being maintained concentricity is being maintained concentricity is being maintained again over to this hole and and then it's getting here to this dimension which is locked and this face is stationary and it can't move so therefore that face can't move while it honors all those other things and if you right click on any face you can kind of browse through and exactly see the symmetry. This does seem like it gets a little complicated but maybe someday take the time so that's kind of a, a, a good way to troubleshoot so but the most basic thing you may do with this solution manager troubleshooter is simply click the element that you would like to relax and I click that dimension it relaxes that locked dimension and then I can just hit the green check mark or right click to accept and then it will it will reapply that dimension back to, back to being locked and um, do what you would expect so when you see that those variety of colors show up take a moment and learn about them a little bit um, so let's do it again and um, I'll do it with the hole this time and I'll um, there is when it when it goes into this error or solution manager mode you'll see this advanced bar show up and that can be turned on simply by clicking advanced or the V on the keyboard you'll you see and this kind of gives you more, a little bit more control than you have with this panel um, uh, ninety percent of your day you won't use this but um, what it's showing us in green uh, are the are the conditions in the model that it has found and in the other buttons should have that orangey pushed in those are potential things that it may find um, there's even a way that you can save these relationships so permanently really lock this model down which may or may not be great but here's a setting that you may find interesting auto solution manager with that little checkbox on even when there isn't a failure you'll get the solution manager and the benefit of that if I select this face for example so there shouldn't be any error and I come up some distance and I click so it kicks me into this um, kind of a wait state or a hold and it shows me all the moving faces and even down on the status bar it says um, design intent adjusting six faces so there's one two three four and um, they're probably talking about these little rounds on the end uh, and then you can just right click to accept so it kind of gives you allows you to slow down um, and really interrogate the move and gain some confidence uh, so you might like that uh, let's look at this symmetric part now they've deliberately modeled this here's the base coordinate system so it's deliberately off center they're trying to show you you know if you just simply click this face and attempted to move it even with design intent fully turned on it's not seeing the symmetry uh, in that uh, and you can turn on your advanced bar though I don't know that I would use this very much um, I come down here I say you have to kind of do it while you're in this dynamic while the face is moving you then come down here and say local symmetry or do control Y and then you tell it that's the plane that has the local symmetry so that's one way to uh, achieve that 
Um, <clears throat> another, I just like to point out another really simple way to achieve this is just simply put a dimension on it um, and use the uh, symmetric option and to move those faces. And if you recall my mantra, uh, selection is key. If I select uh, these these sides, but leaving out that middle selection, and then come back in here and and change that, uh, I can change the entire width of this symmetrically without it even being on the center, which is really nice. And again, my my auto, even when I bang in a dimension, my auto solution manager has kicked in. There's no failures. It's, every, it's all happy green and blue. Uh, but I might turn that off uh, because that is kind of optional. And then ultimately what you would do with a design like this is fix it. It sh really probably should be on center. Um, it's up to you. Uh, I would write, I would uh, wait for the dots and uh, I would right click, choose the entire design body, and uh, make sure you're you're on a midpoint or some some key point and then uh, go ahead and you know fix that symmetry so now you don't really have to worry about it so now when someone makes an edit um, you know it should edit symmetrically as you would expect for a design like that 99 percent of the time that's kind of the way that that part should ever edit in the future uh, and then you wouldn't even need this other plane that was just there for the for the demonstration. So that is uh, an overview of um, design intent. Maybe we'll cover that a little bit more, uh, but go ahead and do the activities. And uh, if you have to, you can read the, the instructions in the book.